So, it's so funny when I'm hearing you give the bigger perspective because in K Crew, yes, you had energy, but there was energy guys, guys like yeah. Lena, yeah. TMK. Remember them? Though? Yes, we used to do the TMK. On how much? It's called Kutimba. Mm. Kutimba nile dance nile. Yeah. Ume big shout out Timbaland. Yeah. Boots. <laughs> so, 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 so this this is where then K Crew was sort of honing that MC skill that would yes. later become to known. That had later commercialized. Yes. Secular or in this other world of corporate that you're going to enter. It didn't exist. It didn't this, exist. This level of energy didn't exist. Yes. That's crazy. And I remember when I told guys that I want to start MCing, people are doing hype. People are like, what's hype? So what? I told them like, like Fat Man Scoop. Yeah. Fat Man Scoop. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Fat Man yeah. Scoop. You know? So that's how I show people what I'm trying to do. So people used to start calling me the Fat Man Scoop of Kenya. <laughs> You know, like they didn't understand. I remember Philip Moniki was like one of my harshest critic, man. <laughs> this guy used to write about me like nothing good much. <laughs> but he's like, one day he wrote like, what on earth is a hype man? What is this hype man? Little did he know that today there's no concert without yep, a hype MC. Yep, 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 yep. So I set a standard where I pushed out comedians from concerts. Corporate brands stopped booking comedy co uh, comedians. What? Okay, dude, hold on. We are going to come into this MC world because <laughs> at this time I've connected with you. So, but I want you to talk about my testimony. That's what made me connect with you. Yeah, the album. The album. So you've recorded this. You've recorded Samaya the first song. Yeah. You've done the remix. the remix. That was the yeah. second song you recorded. Yeah. Where, where now? What happens? Then after that, I recorded. The uh, Kora Chums comes in. Yeah, yeah. So when Kora Chums came in. It allowed me to do more with my music because now I could finance my my art. Mm. So I went, I booked. And your mom is seeing this. Your mom is like, Yo. my mom is like in disbelief, <laughs> completely. <laughs> um, so we we used to negotiate. So I told my mom, listen, I know education means a lot to you. I'm not gonna stop going to school, but I wanna pursue my my music because my music is my passion. So we came to an understanding. So she's like, okay, what do you wanna study? So during that transition period, I tried many things. I tried um, I tried. Uh, I tried theology mm. at some point. I went to a school here on, in Hallingham and I wasn't feeling their doctrine. The doctrine was the Pentecostal doctrine and mm. I'm a Protestant. So it's about Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, fire and in mm. Hey fam, <laughs> a guy's telling me you have to speak in tongues. Mm. I was like, you can't force somebody to speak, speak in, in tongues. tongues. The yep. gifts and, of the Holy Spirit uh, as the Spirit wills. So mine may be, for example, word of knowledge or something else, but it might not necessarily be speaking in tongues so i i i, I disagreed with their doctrine so i chomokad from that school then they used to make guys do funny stuff like uh cleaning the floors in the morning mm -hmm. to make the place scream for the holy spirit so and until today I'm, I'm not a religious person yep 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 I'm very spiritual. Religion kills uh, yeah. Christianity. My exactly, Post, yeah. and for me, those are the things that I question in my faith, son. So I tried French. I went to Allianz. I enrolled. So I used to, go, go, I used to be in the evening, afternoon class. I was I think about two, two thirty p.m. to four, one hour thirty minutes. But that time is when the plots are coming by a form in a jeeper man. Eh? So mm. I used to miss a lot of classes. And for those who've done language, if you miss a class, especially the fundamental, yeah, it's over. you can't catch up, bro. It's over. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to go to the last arm, but I ain't naughty. That's the, that's, those, that language is the only one that has really given me a hard time, French. Mm. Uh, in Rusinga, I tried a bit of German. Mm. Um, but I didn't last Rusinga for long. I only did one time. I was going to ask Rusinga yeah. come up. So I did after form four, after form four, sorry, seven and eight, I did one term in Rusinga after KCP because I was stressed. I was stressed of eight for four. Like mm. my day when we were doing um, standard eight, eh, we used to do classes Monday to Friday, Mo Monday to Friday uh, from 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. to 9 p.m. Bro, 9 p.m. Mm. And I'm a day scholar. What? Standard eight. Bag, a whole bag, bro. Well, you know, and those guys used to combine those books like let's say it's Malkiat Singh GHC. Mm. Standard five, six, seven, eight into with cello tape. Yeah, yeah. I remember so, that. So bro, thing. if you have like eight subjects, <laughs> the bag. Yeah? Mm. <laughs> bro, like like eight for four was no joke. So after after KCP, I told my mom, like, can we just try something else? So she took me to Rusinga because my neighbor was in Rusinga. Mm. So the guy tortured me, I tortured me already, we are in Giyad. So I can get Rusinga, I didn't really fit in. 
I've, so they were pretty, pretty advanced because now they are doing sciences, chem, they yep. repeated periodic table because I joined Rusinga in year nine, mm. which is equivalent to form two. Yep, yep, yep. So I'd missed fundamental, uh, one fundamental year mm. where guys are being taught the basics. So some subjects I was really finding it hard to catch up. Uh, so I, I stopped paying attention in class. So I was just attending like tonas, nini, music class, <laughs> playing piano. I used to go, then that Shule had a lot of pointees, so it was on, bro. Chicks <laughs> <laughs> just like tennis, yani. hey, in those tennis things for Serena, I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, it's going down. Brayside, coming to school, Banda school, Lil Crest. I was like, oh Lord. So, you know, that's where I met Anki Guta. Yes. used to use the same bus. Yeah. <laughs> To 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 the because she used to live in Mimosa Court, she used to live in, in, in Gumo. Yes. So it's the same bus. Mm. So later on she'd play my music. Later on she'd start my music video. Yeah. You know, big shout out Anki Good. She supported me when I was Chini. She was like really good video vixen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was. Yeah. Good so, tips. so yeah, so my mom was so my mom was summoned to school during my first month. Saying this guy's not doing assignments, this guy's not concentrating in class. Nene. So she's like, I can't pay all this money for you to waste it. Chimoka. She's like, You are going back to it for four. Because she threatened to take me to start a boys. <laughs> I was like, Hey, mom, we'll end up like, yeah. <laughs> so we, yeah, we negotiated, negotiated. So I went back to Makini, which was like a safe space where I had history with the school. Yeah, yeah. So I joined Makini secondary in second term from one. Okay, I yeah. get it. Okay, so let's go back now into this. Let's enter this album story. Yeah, so, so, I, so I recorded um, after some I recorded Temptation. Okay, now what happened? So mm. now you've got this five thousand dollars. Now I float. Yeah. Gonna float. When you start looking. So so before before even that, eh, before the the album, the late Caberere played a very integral role in my life mm. because Jogsi had released an album that they were selling. Mm. They had a cassette. Yep. And this they were selling Sana River Road Nini. So I asked Kaberere, how do you how did you make this cassette? So the guy told me Takuanesha Mashimo, Mashimo is called it Mashimo. So Kaberere tells me, Dev you Kore? Sani, Sani, you Kore? He's a very bubbly character. Mm. And uh, he tells me we meet in Tao. Our meeting place was Butter Hilton. Standard for all K crew events. Yep. <laughs> so we met. He's like, what's in the like a machine? I've never been to River Road, even I didn't understand. So he showed me the distributors that when you package an album, first, even now to package, we mm. can start there. So to package a, a cassette, you have to record what you call a master, a master cassette. So he introduced me to Lee Kanyotu mm. of Studio Sao in River Road. I recorded now my master, my master. So it's, you take your songs and you compile. Mm. So everything you've recorded, you compile into a, a, a album. A master tape and then you use that master tape to duplicate mm. now the tapes you sell yep you get what i mean it's like i I'm, get it's like it's just called a master so he told he took me to the muindi the color singer who now does the branding mm. the you, have to, uh, 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 the you, know, the, you see on the cassette itself let's say it's a tdk clear tape so you have to put your name mm. like you put dng yes 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 uh, and then my my so my tape was called quenti Queli, mm. and then side a side b and then for the inlay, so now it comes, it comes with the case and the, the tape itself. You see, so the Muindi helps you brand and then you can also do now mass production mm. of the cassettes. Oh, so this is your single? This is now my single. So what you, I did... You're not even doing an album yet? Bado. So I, had a, I call it a pre-album I mean, release I thought, tape. I, I thought I was innovative. Kumbi, you had already done it. Yeah, I already <laughs> done it. It was called Quenti Queli. So Quenti Queli has me uh, in, a, in a... I'm looking blue. <laughs> mm. So what happened is I went to a, the I, I did a photo shoot, like I was doing photo shoot in Kitambo mm. before now my album. So this is like two photo five, and um, so I did a photo shoot. I went to a designer in Tao. The guy told me I'll package for you this tape, and I can also do the printing for you. So now printing there was a different price for black and white. There was one single color and full color. Mm. So my my budget <laughs> was for single was color. for single color. <laughs> So what he did to make it cool, cool, he gave me a, a design where it's um, the backdrop is blue, but my face is a light blue. <laughs> I couldn't afford full color. But and that's now, why my tape looks like that. So guess that making fun of me in Kanisa, like, hey, you have a blue tape. Ah! So, but my thing is this, you, you, why were you creating this pre 
album and how many songs are that just so i had i had three songs i had samehewa samehewa remix then i had temptations temptations temptation you mean you like in mc mind innovator still uh-huh. and then it was uh, featuring kara of gospel fathers mm-hmm. he sang the chorus So, um, so even after you told Timo I'm not giving you your, your loot, yeah, you still kept on working. Yeah, we still kept on working, but bro. But just now would pay him for his. Yeah, his but uh, yani, okay. 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 But like it is what it is. Yeah. It is what it, it is. It is what it is, man. So so this tape had now so what I did do you know as a as a tape I put my instrumentals vocals. I don't know if I, I didn't do vocals. Okay. I did an intro and an outro and then I did uh, urban poetry. So urban poetry was like me speaking out. Mm. So I went to Sakata. Do you remember Sakata yep. records yep. in South in uh, Buruburu? SK Blue and Mike, Mike Sakata. Sakata yeah. So I went to their studio. They helped me now package that master. So the master that I was giving now Lee to do for me duplication, yeah, they no. pack they package it for me because I felt like if it's just instrumentals and it's just uh, uh, it's, uh, and the three songs it doesn't have meat. So mm-hmm. I wanted to flesh it kidogo. So I was doing something different that nobody had ever done. Nobody had ever done urban poetry packaged in an album. Mm. I was the first guy in this country. That's crazy. I never I never knew you had yeah. a single. And 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 that came from you know how you'd listen to international albums yep. with skits. Yep. So now me was recording my troop. Like I'd say like the Christian army is the only army that kills its soldiers. Does it, that doesn't support one another. And I talk about that. Like a typical topic and I talk about it later on I'd be a radio presenter. Yeah. So it's the same it's the same craft I was honing. So it's it's like small small building blocks that have led to who I am today. Mm. So That's I packaged crazy. that and became How much are you selling that for? 150 because, shillings uh-huh. uh, for the wholesalers. And, and the concept for you, was it to make revenue or to, or to build yeah, a man. I, I felt like I needed to, to start earning money because at this point in the industry, there was no cash, bro. Mm. Like we're cash trapped. The gigs are not paying. Yep, yep. It was Zile Zakujoji promote. So you're in a poster. The gig is packed, man. Zine Nairobi, Sime Makumeshika, JC's Grove. This is Akina Kev Mulei. Zime Shika, lakini o party mfuko. Mm-hmm. Hata ile maji, maji ya kunywa na jibebe ya maji venye nimejibebe ika hawa yangu. You know, Esther, tu aka kitu. <laughs> so yeah, bro, like uh, so I, I put it out. I used to sell it at 150 shillings. I used to sell it in high schools. I used to sell it in um, in uh, campuses whenever we go to campus. I used to sell it in churches whenever I'd be called to perform in churches. Even Nairobi Baptist would give me like a table yeah, yeah, and then I, I set up. Then I even had a sales team. And we used to do inventory and reconciliation sales. I used to work with a guy called uh, Remy Remington Juice. Big shout out Juice. I used to work with uh, eh, Magina Zina Nipotia. So I had like a sales team. Mitar. Mit, eh, Velma. Oh Velma. Velma used to help me with my sales. Uh, Faking a faith Okalet. Big shout out. Uh, there are a couple of people from church who just come and assist me. Then I'd pay them. Like I'd pay them a, a, a rate per day. Yeah. Shara, it's not for free. I've always been a businessman, clean. Yo, 
Yeah, so I sell the tapes. Then in River Road, I used to now sell them to dis distributors. So the distributor had sell cheaper. I sell like at eight shillings. Some would allow me to sell at a hundred shillings. Then they will sell at one fifty. So mm. they make the the margin. But would you buy it? Would you sell before you give them? No. What now? How it is? It's on consignment, meaning that uh, they they give you the money back when 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 they sell. So for example, like I'd go to let's say I pick a Friday. Every Friday I'm going yeah. to pick up my sales lap. So I have my cassettes. To replenish any sales that have gone, so I had a bag. So mm. Kilometer was idea me with this lap. I go with it with them to town. And uh, so if, if somebody has sold, let's say five cassettes at eighty shillings, that's four hundred shillings. So the the trader gives me four hundred shillings, and then I replenish another batch of five mm. tips. Tunandikiana na sign pali. I take it to Kasangas. Bro. I take it everywhere. Then Kasanga later became my director. Come prisk. Yeah, the that's fun, insane. I mean, life. the fact that you're able to navigate. That side of River Road, River Road, yeah. in each other rough. It's, it's relationships. It's a very good relationships. Those days, you know, people didn't even have mobile phones. At Tapigam to Kumulizania, just mm. and Amaz then. That's more we end the physical. Mm. And then you can go to Tao, you spend money, and then you find you find no tapes have sold. So mm. it was a very volatile market. And for me, those are also some of the reasons. Like I, I, I perhaps decided not to do music anymore because I was feeling like from a revenue perspective, the revenue was very little. And it was inconsistent. Mm. I couldn't plan with it. I couldn't build a life with mm. that kind of chums. Four hundred. Sometimes we sell uh, two tapes. Na pe one sixty. Una tuwa twenty bob twenty bob ya Kenya Kenya bus. Na baki na one forty. That didn't make sense. Ah, okay, so let's talk then about this album. Now, now later, now after now the cash came in, mm -hmm. I decided to invest in the music now heavily. So now I, 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 I've looked for other producers as well. I spread myself across. I worked with uh, Babs, Underdog Productions. Mm. I worked, What song did Babs do? Underdog I did Produ Shukrani. Okay. So I did a 16 track album. Yep. 16 track, like perhaps one of the best offerings mm. uh, musically in this country. Yeah. Um, that will shock you. That's yeah. why I also did a 16 track. Yeah. May I copy paste everything you did. My, my, my <laughs> blueprint. Eh? Yeah. I respect that, bro. That's real. So I did this album called My Testimony, 16 tracks. And it, this, this, the album is about me. It's about uh, me sharing my life with my audience and my fans and just walking them through my journey uh, of life. So with Underdog, I did a song called Huni Mimi. Mm. I did a song called Shukrani. I, I did, uh, I recorded with Steve Ominde. Uh, yeah, you did something with Steve? Yeah, a song called True Love. Different from what you thinking it is It's not a thing that's justified by a kiss Not even close to what TV brings It's not about the way your body feels When the messages are rising from those scandalous films It's not about whether or not you're feeling horny Or you home alone, baby girl, you're feeling lonely 
crazy drop to your mind, just keep on waiting till you're not in love. You just go up in last thing. Who go pick it out? Come as any way, you keep up to an idea. I'm gonna say my name, my pens, my pens, you got any way. We're gonna keep on, yeah, we won't go to. Oh, I'll be better than Danny. I'm gonna make it to you, you're the pillar of Hiroshima. Get to where you go, you can get your pizza. True love, true love, what is true love? Keep it up at the age of 15, 15. Some of my honey, who is it 13? You gotta give it something so your man don't need. True love, true love, what is true love? You gotta give it up to prove that your love is real. True love, is that what true love is? That's a lie. I did uh, some song. Then majority of my album was recorded at Kanji Studio called Kijiji mm. Records, and there I worked with different producers. I worked with, um, of course, Kanji himself, he's a very good engineer, and Kanji has a great ear mm. for music. So how how did you even connect with Kanji and Kijiji? I'd started going to, I, I believe, if I'm not wrong, huh, uh, I'd started going to Mavuno at the time. Um, my chronology is a bit mixed up. Because, um, yeah, I, th I think I think it's 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 yeah I think it's through either through Baptist connection mm. or with Kinawamai and Ku mm -hmm. or Mavuno. So I can't remember which came first. Mm. But anyway, um, I found Kijiji Records very convenient because it's near Ngumo. Mm. It's on M it Mushai on Drive. Ngumo, yeah. It's on Mushai Drive, and mm. so I could walk. I could walk to the studio. And uh, then the Kijiji, so what Kanji did, he'd create a space for other producers who didn't have studios per se to walk in and produce. So like I worked with Aaron, Crucial Keys, Rimbui. Mm. He did, he's the guy who produced uh, Benzi. Benzi. He produced a song called uh, Hero. Oh. Father, mm. father, That's father. That's my best song of that I album. I love that song too. I wanna thank you now. He has a beautiful, beautiful, he's uh, very skilled with, with melody. Father, 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 I wanna thank you now. Father, 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 I wanna praise you now. I lift your name on high and glorify your name. I give you exaltation and lift your name on high. Yo, you are my soldier, but I'm beating up by the weather. So surviving like an alligator When si kweli mimi ni meona mengi Miaka yangu wikupi ni mekula chumbi nyingi Teka sikio ni kusimulie hadithi Si mimi nilitunga kwa nini ushahidi Mimi huyo yesu waka ni oko Wana kunituma kusema ni meokoka Kwa furaha siku sita siku ngoja Haya yote miaka miwili iliopita Papo hapo ni kakumbwa na shida Mimi situi ni nini ilifanya Nika mimi nikale mewa wokovu ukanishinda Injili nilikuwa karibu kuiata Hapo nipo mola alipo kuja Akanipa uwezo akaniele Father, 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 I wanna thank you now Father, 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 I wanna praise you now I lift your name on high and glorify your name I give you exaltation Uh, crucial keys and then i would started at attending these events for the village mm. so kanji used to do this thing called the village where we he'd do live music so i really liked what he was doing so we just connected and i was like i want to do uh, an album can we work together and he's like yeah man can you represent him can you for hype sana come through come through my brother <laughs> so I, I felt like it's a very cool space uh, then i also worked with um who did hold on hold on was uh, our own crucial keys Things happen and I don't know why But one thing 
thing I know things happen for a reason And the grey sky is only for a season Picture Paul chain down riding epistles Where is he now? He's just chilling with Jesus You need to know hardships are meant to build you They might break you by his right there to pick you If you fall down, pick yourself up When you've been through too much to give up Please listen to the theme of the song Pull yourself together man, you gotta be strong I know the drama seems too big for a man But he understands cause he wants was a man Take time to look back at the tracks on the way He didn't bring you this far and leave you on the way Hey Also worked with Ambrose Akwabi of Mandugu Digital. So Mandugu mm. Digital came through with a sound called Bounce. Uh, Mandugu Digital, Gitch Boy, they are doing this really cool stuff. And I remember watching the there's, there's a song called The Bounce by Bamzigi. Mm. Big shout out Bamzi. Bamzi was part of Necessary Noise. Mm. And I was like, and I was like, hell oh, man. This is a dope beat. So I, I used to like now ask myself, who's this producer? So I was like, how? So I asked Kanji, how can we get Mandugu DJ? Ambi, I never met Ambi. So he came through and we recorded Anza Tena. Hey, Nili Fanya, Vitu Mingi Mbaya. Hey, hey, what? Hey, So we did a lot of music. So I combined all this and put it into an album. Yo. And very interestingly, in this album, Kanji did my intro. Mm. And then Pastor Goi of Nairobi Chapel did uh, my, I can call it my outro because it's an altar call. Mm. So my album walks people through the journey of life. And in the end, gives you an opportunity 
to give your life to Christ. Yep. My testimony. Dude, let me tell you, I don't think I've ever told you this. That album literally was a huge life shift in my life. I mean, it was a perfect insert as my life was transitioning from not being born again to being born again. Yeah. Because I'd, again, I started going to Bapo. I'm supposed to be doing music, but I, I can't listen to these gospel fathers. It's too, uh, the swa is too hard. Uh, it's too much. It's too much. And you're uptown, like the, uptown like the, So <laughs> I'm looking for a gospel version. That could connect that. That, that that connects me to the kind of guys I've been listening to. Yeah. Kanye, yeah. Jay-Z. My rap, guys. My you, rap, you rapped in English. Yeah, English, you bit get, of Swahili, yeah, mix. I liked, yeah, exactly. So, <clears throat> and I liked the production. That's Thank why you. I came, found that album. In fact, that's the first gospel album I ever bought. And I said, where well, these guys worked? Yeah. I'm going. That's yeah. why I'm going to record my album. Yeah, and then I did it, like I gave everybody credit in my insight. You had a proper inlay. Yeah. You get X, many pages. Many proper you there's proper information yeah, Again, written by produced <laughs> by recorded by um featuring i even talked about the 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 inspiration for each song mm. like if it's a scripture or if it's a story i tell guys like i want people to understand yep like why i sang the songs i sang and 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 why i did the kind of music i did and, and why i i took the the life journey that i took okay you released this album this, by, by the time you release the album, have you released the next video? Um, or did that come together? Come see, come sa. Okay. The chronology is not too too great. Um, but, you know, in 2005 is when I released my testimony. And I believe in 2005 is also when I released Mpenzi. Mm. 